Hi everyone, welcome to Curry's House. Today we're going to be stripping this down, ready to put the parts into the R9. Let's go. Okay, so the first thing we're going to need is a uh, where is it? Uh, justy and a six mil Allen key. Um, I'm going to take this off. There we go. There it is. So this one, I can just put that in. Exit is out. Wheel is out. Beautiful. Okay. So I'll take the chain off next and then we'll pop the crank out into my box of goodies. Chain tool. Pinch that. Split that. There we go. So chain off. That can go in a pile there for the moment. Because it was on the end of that, that didn't see it. Put that in. Okay, there we go. Just uh, spin that around. Okay, that's out. We'll go for tiny, little tiny here. Um, five. Did the Incredible Hulk do that up? That's crazy. So that should come out, it does. That is the Altegra R8000 uh, stages power meter. That can go there. Right now, we can just tap out the crank. Yeah. Give it a pull from the other side. So we've got a Dura Ace crank with um, Absolute black oval chain rings, 5034. So that'll need to clean up. Yeah, let's put the bolt up there, so that's free. It's actually a nice color underneath all this dirt. Right, I'm going to take off the bottle cages, so I think that's a three. Oh, they fly out. Need a washer for that one. Okay, I'm missing a washer. What I might do is just bleed the hydraulic oil. We should have... Huh, nothing came out. I expected oil to pour out of there, but it didn't. Okay, perfect. Now we'll do the same with the front one. Don't worry, I'm going to replace all of the brake pads. We'll go for the hydraulic hose cutter. So, let's put that in. Trumpet. That actually cuts really well. Okay, now I can just pull that through. So that's that uh, sorted. All right, the rear one the same. Chop. That's actually a really good tool. Okay, let's spin it round. Remove this and this. I don't want to be rude, but that was really loose. Like, really loose. Okay. Oh. Okay. Now, that can be detached. And that was really loose, too. Crikey. There's a little clip there, and then that is just removed out of the frame. There's a little clip on the 
DR2 cable. So we'll just take that and put it back. There we go. So that's the front neck. I have to get this off. So I shall look for the tool for this and uh, we'll be right back. Okay, the tool is the Fit TLFC32. Um, basically, you can put it in your spanner like this. So we want to untighten it so it's forward on this side. There we go. Let's give it a knock. There's no chance that was never coming out, let me tell you. And the same for the other side. It goes forward. There we go. Out comes the plastic sleeve. Man, I can't believe I was pedaling that. I mean, the bearings are all right, but they're very stiff on the on the non-drive side. You might not be able to see. See that cable? That is the butt brake, which went under the bottom bracket shell. Okay, and there is my junction box. So we'll just uh, pull the cables out. Yep, that one there. That's the rear one. So we've still got the battery and the one that goes up to here. So we'll leave that out like that for a minute and then we'll fish out the rest. We'll disconnect the handlebars next. Okay, so. Draw. Off they come. That can rest on the hydraulic cable. Leave that in it. Let's just push the bars out. How are the bearings after I've never taken them out? How are the bearings? Oh mate, <laughs> they're still really good. They're not gritty at all. They're a bit dirty, but they're not gritty. And the others are proving difficult to get out, so looks like there's something for me to get out later. Okay, so that's the compression plug that came with the bike. See how small it is. It was just enough to cover the stemlet, but I've got a much uh, longer one this time. So what I'm going to do is just disconnect it there. Pull it up through the tube. Okay, so that's the battery one. Disconnect that. Okay, so I'm going to take out the seat post and with the battery and the wire here. I'm taking the seat post. Okay, so there's the seat post uh, piece. Just goes like that. Perfect. Go there. So the seat post should be free. It is. Here comes the cable. Out she comes. One battery. It's the BTD M1110. Right, let's uh, put that upside down. Hmm, that's rusty as hell. That's been in there. That is really bad. So that's our pile of parts, which we managed to take off. Uh, next time you see them, they'll be a little bit cleaner. We'll clean them all up. We'll uh, line them up, the new parts and the old. See what we've got and then we'll take it from there. 
Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next carousel. Take care. Bye.